Hey y'all, happy Sunday. So I want to share my church notes with y'all. So if y'all like these types of videos, um, topics of the Bible, people, characters of the Bible, or my church notes, my daily devotionals, share them with y'all every Sunday or something, or just any specific topics y'all want me to talk about, uh, like I was saying in my um, other video that I actually recorded today on this look. Um, it will be up either tomorrow or Tuesday, though, uh, about any, you may talk about depression, you know, anything like that. Just any topics of the Bible and stuff. Uh, then make sure you give this video a like and make sure you also subscribe so you'll be able to see them videos and turn on the post notification bell. So, I'm going to say the scripture and just strictly read what notes I have and then try and explain and stuff. So, the scripture uh, that the pastor said today came from John eight thirty six, And it says, in the word, it says, So, if the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. And that was the only verse. So, I'm going to read it again. So, if the Son, Jesus, sets you free, you will be free indeed. Okay, so I'm going to read my notes. Just, um... I'll show you. Just read all the notes and then it's front and back and just go over them and stuff. So I wrote out the scripture. So if the sun sets you free, you'll be free indeed. And the next I wrote, Jesus is the great deliverer. He wants to set you free. He wants you to be free of the bondage and everything. And the story that kind of goes along with that scripture um, uh, is the Israelites and how Pharaoh and his army in the past uh was going after them and stuff and so i'll continue to read until you let him set you free mentally then you aren't set free all the way the israelites were set free physically but not mentally because they would still think and talk about fair about pharaoh and his army they would still think about their past of how god set them free uh but they still had it on their minds about Pharaoh and how his army and stuff. So Pharaoh and his army, because of the bondage, the mental bondage, they uh, they have not yet let God set them free of the mental bondage, but just physically. If you will obey God, and He will complete, He will completely set you free. He hasn't forgotten about you. So if you feel like you're still caught up in the past, still thinking about it, still wanting to and stuff, and you're like, oh, the whole God set me free. Has he forgotten about this? He has not. Sometimes we let it get in the way. We have to put in action also uh, to want to give it up. He will set us free. Uh, when he, like we when he re read, sorry, sir. When we read his word, his word is truth, and the truth will set him free set us free god is the word he is truth and he will set us free so we need to be in his word and stuff and it goes on i wrote um you may know how to live correctly but you still uh, you also still know how to talk about people you still know how these are just examples too that we may that we may encounter and do in life because a lot of us I'm like me, say me for example, because I'm talking about me too. Uh, many times, I know how to live correctly. Many, many times, I'm still caught up in the bondage, though, of slavery. We are so much enslaved or slaved to sin because we talk about people. So that's what I was saying. But we still know how to talk about people. We still know how to let that guilt of your past come up and still think of it because that's the mental bondage. That's the And also, that's the mental bondage that Pharaoh had on the Israelites and they still had it. That's why they thought of the past of when Pharaoh and his, their ar his army would attack them and try and get them and stuff, but God set them free. Um, you still know, let the guilt of your past come up. Uh, we still be, we're still ashamed, sometimes to the point to we're ashamed of the gospel and spreading it. But God doesn't want us to be ashamed. He doesn't want us to be a slave, be a slave to free, to fear and to sin he wants to set us free and it's a process but we have to obey him we have to obey him and get out of his way okay goes on i also wrote down a lot of us still have the slave mentality 
a slave to sin, a slave to your past. You know, whenever we move on from the past and God sets us free of a lot of stuff, oh, we still want to hold on to the past though because, oh, it was good memories. Oh, I feel bad for letting them people go, for letting them down. I still want to be friends with them. You know, all the memories, it was so fun. I used to party. I used to do this and that. But we cannot be a slave to that. We have to let him uh, set us free from our mental and from our mind of, and of wanting to go back because um once we go back we'll relive it and stuff and we'll become depressed or whatever you were at that time and then we'll we will remember like man I, this is what god set me free from and i just fell back into it and we will always end up going back to the father but until we pray and until we truly seek God and ask him to set us free from our mental not just physical but mental so we won't think on um, even want to go back to the past we won't think about the thoughts we won't let shame and guilt and fear get to us and we won't be slave to our past then we will continue to go back and forth but we don't need to do that so we have a, we have that's why the word also teaches us how to we need to renew our minds so we have to renew our mind you have to make your mind up you have to make up your mind to solely serve christ and let go of the world and the sin and not go back to the past we can't be slave to sin and of this world like the word also says word we cannot be we can be in the world but we cannot we should not be of the world we should be of God and his word not the world so aren't you and this was like a statement and stuff and this was good he also said aren't you glad that God has a plan you know we all we should always know that God has a plan not only to bring us out but to set us free and sometimes we get it get in the way of his plan and you know how you want to know why God um boldly and clearly says to move go for not to and this is where we mess up this is where we mess up his plan and we don't fully surrender uh our plan and our agenda and our will to god so we can uh be totally set free indeed we try and fight we try to say oh well, i'm not comfortable this will be out of my comfort zone so god boldly and clearly says to move to go for not to fight or he didn't say only if you want to, you know. Yes, I'm an okay God to you. You may not want to uh, fully read and apply my word to your life. So it's okay, you know. You can take baby steps. You can do this and that. And it was it was awesome. Whenever I was hearing this, I just got to put that in. Because it was just awesome. And this really touched me. So I, I really hope and pray it touches you also. And, um... Uh, but we need to get out of our comfort zones, you know, and we need to get out of God's way and let him be God. And that's what it also says, get your thoughts, opinions, and judgments out of the way so God can be God. He's trying to set you free. And he's, like it said, um, aren't you glad that God has a plan not only to bring you out, but to set us free? But he can't do that if we're in the way. He can't do that if we keep... Uh, making excuses, letting our pride get in the way and stuff. So on to the next page, it says, he's trying to answer our prayers. So we can get mad, but you will not let him. We won't let him. Now, whose fault is that? If we're getting in the way and he's trying to answer our prayers, he's trying to, in the process of setting us free, but we, we're the ones that mess up. We're the ones that keep backsliding won't fully surrender or focus in him and in his word. Uh, now, that's not his fault. It's our fault. Because we won't sit down and be still in him. We wouldn't be, we, you wouldn't, but your excuses and pride, we wouldn't put our, okay, we wouldn't put our excuses and pride to the side. I'm writing a little sloppy, so I can't really understand my own writing. Okay, but we need to trust Him and obey Him. That's really the main thing 
the, an important thing, not main thing, but important thing we need to do. We need to trust Him and obey Him. And if we obey Him and stuff, then He will, we will be set free. And His Word said to move forward, to go forward. Don't look on the past. Don't pay attention to the past because the more we pay attention to it, the more we will become it. What we look at, what we see, what we hear, what we listen to, it will become our hearts and what comes out is what's in our heart. So that's why we need His Word. That's why we need to focus on Him and pray and stuff. And there's no excuses for not reading the word. That's why we need to obey him and read his word. Because, yes, we may not like reading, but you know what? That's why on the Bible app, we're able to listen so we can listen to it. And we have different versions and stuff. I know there's a lot of controversy about NIV and stuff isn't right. I'm not going to get into that, though. But we have different languages. We can buy a Bible. We can listen. We have different sources to where we can get God's word so we don't need to make excuses we don't need to um put that to the side because we can listen to sermons uh even when we get on our phones like I said the bible app uh sermons we can go to church and listen to it and stuff um and watch it on tv there's a lot of sermons you can play 24 7 a day and stuff uh every sunday every day of the week actually go on youtube that's how i do and stuff but uh when we read the word the word is the truth and the truth will set you free so <clears throat> i want to actually go back over um uh, you know how the israelites were still in bondage of pharaoh and his army the mentality the mental they weren't set free they were set free physically but not mentally so a lot of us were set free physically but not mentally we still think about our past and desire to have fun to live in paradise to live in the world stuff but we also know god sense that it's free from it but not we won't let him do it all the way because we give into our flesh a lot so again until you let him set you free mentally, then we aren't set free all the way. The Israelites were set free physically, but not mentally, because they, were, because they would still think and talk about Pharaoh and his his army in the past from whenever they were trying to attack them. But that's the bondage, a uh, mental bondage. So, yes. So hopefully I've explained everything right. I was just really wanting to uh, let y'all in on these church notes because they touch me very good. I have uh, lots of testimonies about this that I really hope I can make a video and I know I will uh, hopefully soon. But yes, I really want to share some of my testimony on how I've went back. And how I've went back and I've gave in and stuff. And... A difference actually in a, in a video about the difference on how it feels whenever you live in the world and the difference of how it feels whenever you live from God so that's a major difference and I can share you that in another video but me and my personal experience and a testimony along with it so yeah because that's basically my testimony but yes I hope y'all all very really understood this and again the scripture is John 8 36 and y'all can go read about the israelites and about how pharaoh and his army was uh going after them but the lord set them free and everything but yes let's not let's solely check ourselves and stuff because I, I definitely check myself in church mm. um so to make sure that we are not a slave to fear to sin to any bondage mental bondage so we won't want to go back to the past so we won't think and so we won't let all them thoughts creep in and stuff you know so if y'all like this video then give this a like if you have any topics make sure y'all comment 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 and you subscribe and turn on the post notification bell and also uh i do share a good bit of videos and stuff on my facebook i try and share daily ones from tiktok on my facebook so y'all go follow me on there and on tiktok if you would like but other than that i hope y'all have had a blessed sunday i love y'all so much but god loves y'all 10 times more and i'll see y'all in either monday or tuesday whenever i upload this look